Good morning, everyone. Welcome to story time. My name is Elizabeth, and it is another beautiful summer day. Right now, I'm filming story time, so I don't know what the weather is going to be like while you're watching, but I hope it's beautiful then, too. Just um, a reminder about a few cool programs we have um, on AADL TV. There's the Saturday show, which is every Saturday morning at 11 a.m., and that is a really fun variety show that has a different theme each week. And um, there's themes like weather, music, superheroes, gardening, the outdoors, and um, a lot of us work together to create different segments for that. It's really fun for all ages. And also there is um, a baby time program every Monday um, at 11 a.m., I think. It might be 10 a.m. I should have looked, but I think it's 11. Um, and that's for parents and caregivers of babies ages zero to two, and it's um, just kind of offering ideas for things that you can do with your baby. It's not as much for the babies to watch, but for ideas for things that um, you might want to do with your baby while we're all at home. So I just wanted to highlight those and make sure that people knew about them. And um, we will get started because it's story time, and we will say hello to everybody. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello! Couple more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as Well, thank you for tuning in today. Um, can I see your fingers? Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Lay them on your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep. Them creepy, creepy, creep them right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth. Ah, but do not let them in. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them just like this, this, this. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them. Blow a little kiss. Mwah! Great job, everyone. It is time to find out what our letter of the day is. And that is the letter P. Let's think of a few things that start with the letter P. How about picnic, or park, or pool? I miss swimming in the swimming pool. We have pee stories today. I guess maybe my little friend over here gives it away. We have uh, pee stories today because we have stories about pigs. 
And pigs are so funny, and I'm excited to share some of the stories that we have um, about them today. So P is for pig. And of course, you might be playing the summer game. It's almost the end. Um, this is one of the very last codes that you'll be able to get. And the code today is pink piglet. So if you are playing the summer game, you can enter that in for 100 points, pink piglet. And I'll show it again at the end in case you missed it. And before we get started, of course, we need to take our stretch. So let's give a big stretch out wide. Big stretch up tall. Give yourself a hug. Tap your knee. Tap your nose. Tap your ear. Tap your chin. Find your elbow. One more big stretch out wide. Big stretch up tall. Ah. All right, let's settle in for our first story today. And this one is called The Long-Nosed Pig. Well, a long time ago, the very first pig in the world looked just like pigs do today, except for one thing. His pink nose was very, very long. Well, he was very proud of his long nose, and he would boast about it all the time. I have the most beautiful nose in the entire world. Look at my fantastic nose. I mean, have you seen anything more beautiful than my nose? I assure you, I have not. Well, one day, that little pig met a furry brown ant eater. <gasps> that is a fine furry nose you have there. Too bad it isn't as long as mine. And the pig put his long nose proudly in the air and trotted uh, well, down by the sea, Little Pig ran into a scaly blue swordfish. Ooh, that is a fine scaly nose you have there. Too bad it isn't as long as mine. And Little Pig stuck his long nose in the air, and trotted on. Well, back in the jungle, Little Pig met a feathery toucan. <gasps> that is a fine, colorful nose you have there, said Pig. Too bad it isn't as long as mine. And Little Pig stuck his long nose in the air and trotted on. He held up his nose as high as he could and he was holding it up so high that he couldn't see where he was going. And he trotted smack right into a tree and that tree squished his nose, whoop, turning his long pink nose into a short wrinkly pig snout. Oh. And from then on, that pig never bragged again. And even today, pigs have short little wrinkled noses. And the most you can say to a pig is oink, 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 oink. The end. Nice job, everybody. Give yourself a hand for listening so well to our first story. And um, 
we have we can stand up if you you can stand up if you'd like. Um, I have a kind of activity book. This is you probably know the story if you're happy and you know it. And this has some fun animals in it, so we'll get to do some movements that we don't usually get to do. So feel free to stand up and get ready to move around. Are you feeling happy today? Join us for some sing along fun. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Can you clap? If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. Are you stamping? If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, roar out loud, roar. If you're happy and you know it, roar out loud, roar. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, roar out loud. If you're happy and you know it, spin around. If you're happy and you know it, spin around. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, spin around. If you're happy and you know it, go kiss, kiss. If you're happy and you know it, go kiss, kiss. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, go kiss, kiss. Mwah, mwah. If you're happy and you know it, flap your arms. If you're happy and you know it, flap your arms. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, flap your arms. If you're happy and you know it, say squeak, 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 squeak. If you're happy and you know it, say squeak, 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 squeak. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, say squeak, 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 squeak. If you're happy and you know it, jump around. If you're happy and you know it, jump around. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, jump around. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, stomp your feet, nod your head, roar out loud, roar, spin around, go kiss kiss, flap your arms, Say squeak, 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 and jump around. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout, we are! The end. Nice job with that one, everybody. All right, let's sit back down, get settled in for our next story. And can I see your fingers? Ah, there we go. I have ten fingers. They all belong to me. I can make them do things. Do you want to see? I can make them jump high. I can make them jump low. I can fold them tight and hold them just so. I can squeeze them tight. I can open them wide. 
I can wave them all around. I can make them all hide. I can make them jump high. I can make them jump low. I can fold them tight and hold them just so. All right, our next story today is called Little Pig Joins the Band. Get organized here. I need my felt board for this one. Here we go. Perfect, all right. Well, this is Little Pig. Sometimes Little Pig did not like being little, or even being called Little Pig. My name is Jacob, he would say. When his brothers and sisters got out Grandpa's old marching band instruments, Little Pig looked and looked for something that he could play. But Little Pig was too little to play the drum so Maggie played the drum. And Little Pig was too little to play the trombone. So Peter played the trombone. Little Pig was too little to play the trumpet. So Sally played the trumpet. And Little Pig was too little to play the tuba. So Sam played the tuba. Where are the piccolos, the harmonicas, the kazoos? Little Pig asked. Those are all Little Pig sized. But Little Pig was just too little to join the band. He watched everyone march around the house. Let's stand up and march. And then the music stopped. Whoops! Everybody stopped marching and Maggie crashed into Sam and Peter bumped into Sally and they all fell over. Kablam! Little Pig knew what the problem was. Hey, you need a leader, said Little Pig. He found a whistle and <laughs> he blew it. Okay, everybody, line up. This is how you do it. March together now. Right, left, right, left, right, left. All together, Little Pig gave the signal and off they marched. And Little Pig gave the signal again and they all stopped. As they marched, someone said, Jacob, you are a natural leader. And Little Pig said, you can call me Little Pig, band leader. The end. Nice job, everybody, with that one. That's one of my favorites. And I wish I could have stood up to march with everyone. Makes it hard when you can't do that, but I hope you all had a nice time marching. And we have another story today. Of course, it has another pig in it. Uh, let me just get settled in here. Get my whistle together. Okay. And our next and last story is called Piglet's Picnic. One sunny day, 
Pig had a great idea. She posted a note that said, come to a picnic by the river and bring your favorite food for us all to share. Love, Piglet. She could not wait to see all of her friends and to try her friends' favorite foods. Well, after a while, it was time to go on the picnic and Pig met up with her friend, Mouse. Mouse said, oh, Piglet, I have brought my favorite treat. I hope you enjoy it. Pig thought, oh, I wonder what is in the basket. I hope there's enough for everyone. I'm peckish. Next, they were joined by Blackbird, who was carrying a bundle. I've just collected my favorite treats, said Blackbird. They are yummy. Pig thought, Ooh, I'm sure there's something scrumptious in there. Will there be enough? I am hungry. Then their friend Frog joined in and he was carrying a box. Mine is really crunchy. It's my favorite, said Frog. Pig thought, mmm, I bet there are some tasty treats in there. But, oh, that box is kind of small and I'm famished. Next, Dog bounded up carrying a parcel. Oof, I've been saving this for a really special occasion, she said. Pig thought, Ooh, well that looks promising. It could be something delicious and I am starving. Sheep arrived next with a knitted bag. I hope I'm not late, she said. I wanted my treat to be as fresh as possible. Pig thought, just in time. I wonder what is in there. I hope there's enough. I'm ravenous. Let's see what we all brought and then we can eat. Sheep said, okay, well, here is my food. It is green and healthy and scrumptious. Inside the sack was nothing but blades of grass. Grass? That's boring. We can't eat that, said everyone else. Hmm. Oh, oof. well, let me show you what I brought. I'm sure you'll all like this, said Dog. Mine's rich and tasty and, oh, it's a bone. Oh, yuck. A chewed up bone? We can't eat that said everyone else. Well, next it was Frog's turn. Never mind. This is perfect for everyone. These are so munchy and crunchy. Look, flies. What? Flies? We can't eat that. You must be joking, said everyone else. Bird, Blackbird, decided to show off her bundle next. Well, look. This is what I brought. You'll enjoy these. They're so juicy and fresh. Look, I've brought worms. Oh, horrid. We're going to be sick. We can't eat worms, said all the other friends. Well, I I've brought something quite fragrant and ripe, and, and I think you'll all enjoy it, said Mouse. Here, it's the stinkiest cheese I could find. Oh, that smells horrible, said all the friends. We we can't eat that. Ugh. Pig was devastated. Oh, dear, this picnic is going to be a disaster. There will never be enough food for us all to eat. Well, Pig, what did you bring? Asked all the other animals. She took the lid off of her basket and inside... There were cupcakes. Yum! We can eat, oh, definitely all eat those, said her friends. So this is what Piglet did. She laid out a picnic blanket. Everyone found a spot. 
Everyone ate the food they had brought for themselves, their favorite treats, and each of them had one of Pig's cupcakes. And there was even one extra. So Piglet got two. The end. Nice job, everybody. That's one of my favorites, too. All right, that was our last story for today. Just let me hold up the summer game code one more time, Pink Piglet, for 100 points if you are playing the summer game. And let's wave goodbye. Wave to the side. Wave to the other side. Wave up high. Wave down low. Wave to yourself. Wave to me. Thank you so much for joining Storytime today, everyone, and we will see you next time.